The absolute value of A represents the distance of a point A on the real number line from the origins. This A here is on positive direction from the origin. What if our A is on a negative direction from the origin? Even though A and negative a are in different direction, they have the same distance from the origins. The absolute value of a real number A can be defined as A if A greater than or equal to 0, negative A if A less than 0, or absolute value of A equals to set a squared. Therefore, absolute value of every real number is non-negative. For every a is element of real numbers. For the first question, we have absolute value of x plus 5. To define absolute value of x plus 5, we need to write down in a big parenthesis The first one is for positive x plus 5 if x plus 5 is greater than or equals to 0 and negative x plus 5 if x plus 5 is less than 0. We're going to simplify and going to write down the next step. We're going to have x plus 5 if x is greater than or equals to negative 5. And negative x plus 5, you may expand if you want, if x is less than negative 5. The second question, we have absolute value of 5 minus x. So we're going to define absolute value of 5 minus x as positive 5 minus x if 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative 5 minus x if 5 minus x is less than 0. So for the second step, we are going to simplify absolute value of 5 minus x is equal to 5 minus x if x is less than or equal to 5 and I'm going to expand my negative 5 minus x and it's going to become positive x minus 5 if x is more than 5. Let's start with the first property. We have discussed the first property before. The absolute value of a is always positive or 0 if A is 0. The example, if you have absolute value of 5 is equals to 5 and of course 5 is positive. Or the absolute value of 0 is definitely positive. The second property, the absolute value of A is equals to the opposite of absolute value of a. Example, if I have absolute value of 5, which is 5, and I have the absolute of value of negative 5, which is also 5, it means that absolute value of 5 gives the same value of absolute value of negative 5. The third property, the absolute value of a plus b is equals to the absolute value of 
B plus A. Example, if you have absolute value of 5 plus 3, which is the absolute value of 8, and the absolute value of 8 is equals to 8. If you have the absolute value of 3 plus 5 equals to absolute value of 8, and the absolute value of 8 is equals to 8. It means that the absolute value of 5 plus 3 is equals to the absolute value of 3 plus 5. The fourth property is just like the third one. If we have absolute value of A minus B, it is equals to the absolute value of B minus A. The example, if you have the absolute value of 5 minus 3, then it is equals to the absolute value of 2. The absolute value of 2 is equals to 2. Then we have the absolute value of 3 minus 5, which is equals to the absolute value of negative 2. And the absolute value of negative 2 is positive 2. It means that the absolute value of 5 minus 3 has the same value as the absolute value of 3 minus 5. The fifth properties. The absolute value of AB is equals to the absolute value of A times with the absolute value of B. Example, the absolute value of 5 times 3 is absolute value of 15. And the absolute value of 15 is 15. And if we have the absolute value of 5 times with the absolute value of 3 is equals to the absolute value of 5 is 5 and the absolute value of 3 is 3. So 5 times 3 is 15. It shows that the absolute value of 5 times 3 is equals to the absolute value of 5 times with the absolute value of 3. The sixth property, if we have the absolute value of A over B, it is equals to the absolute value of A over the absolute value of B with the condition the absolute value of B is not equals to zero. The example, if we have the absolute value of 5 over negative 3, which is 5 over 3, and if we have the absolute value of 5 over the absolute value of negative 3, then the absolute value of 5 is 5, and the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. Therefore, the absolute value of 5 over negative 3 has the same value as the absolute value of 5 over the absolute value of negative 3.